Guten Tag and hello, I'm Lyle from Jeng Zeta Name and welcome back to Greedfall to what might very well be the last episode because things are looking very dire, Constantine has gone kind of mad maybe and now we have to bring everyone together to fight his army of beasts and the first ones we are gonna persuade to help us are Teleme. And for that, we will speak to the Mother Cardinal and hope that she will grant us our, her help. Don't think it should be a problem. We are friendly to everyone right now, I think. Your Eminence, I salute you. Lady de Sardé, what can I do for you? Ask her to become allies against Constantine. Against Constantine, that doesn't sound right. Do you remember I thought someone must have been responsible for the attacks you sustained? Yes, you thought that this guardian who sent us the animals couldn't have been acting alone. And I was right, sadly. You're hesitating. Are you afraid of my reaction? Indeed. As the person responsible is none other than my cousin, Constantine. Uh, does this mean that the congregation has decided to wage war on us? And thanks to which obscure alliance has your cousin been able to manipulate these creatures? Constantine acted alone, and he betrayed us as much as he betrayed you, believe me. As for the way he manipulated these creatures... Do you remember that my cousin was sick? Absolutely. And it is said that his recovery was the result of a rather suspicious miracle. Are you telling me that your cousin has made a pact with the demons of this island? Something like that. He was cured by a Donegad of the island who performed a bonding ritual. But the power he received from this made him thirsty for more, and he bonded himself to other places, thus gaining control over the guardians who were protecting these sacred places. But why attack us? Did his madness make him forget about our alliance? His thirst for power is making him want to control the island entirely by himself. And I know that for this purpose he will soon attack the native's main sanctuary on the volcano. I won't stand a chance against all the creatures he's taken control of. And I need some help. I will go and find the other factions, of course. But we need the help of Teleme. Having a common enemy should help us forget all the differences that have been opposing us. The idea that we would protect the sanctuary from an insular demon is completely insane. But you have helped us several times, and I trust your judgment. You can count on our help. My men will fight by your side. Thank you, Your Eminence. Thanks to your wisdom, we have a chance to prevail. I must leave you. Naturally, Your Excellency. Yes, very good. They will help us. Of course they will. They do not have any reason not to. They have been assholes in the past, but now they saw reason, I hope, at least. Where do we go next? Who's it gonna be? Convince the Nords, fine by me. Since they all are friendly, I don't think there will be anyone who doesn't want to participate. Unless there's a limit to how many allies I can have, but it looks like the five factions, so... Constantine, you're getting your ass kicked. And your madness kind of brought everyone together, apparently. So, there's that. Now we take Vasco, even though I don't think it makes a difference. And we are right there. Cabral. Desarde, what can I do for you? Everything. <laughs> ask her to join the alliance against Constantine. I have come to ask for your help, Admiral. My cousin has been plunged into madness, and he apparently wishes to conquer the whole island. He took control of many creatures by reenacting rituals he learned from the islanders, and now he uses them to attack the cities and villages of those he considers to be his rivals. A difficult situation, admittedly, but one that does not concern us. 
Who's in charge of the island is none of our business, Desarde, and you know that. It actually does concern you. If my cousin takes control of the island, soon there will be no ports where your ships can berth. He's not looking for political influence. He desires power. Absolute power. I see. It's a decent argument. So what now? We must stop him at all costs. And for that, I will need allies. I already have the support of other factions, but I was hoping I could count on the help of the Norts. You can. My men aren't really used to fighting on land, but they will be by your side. You have proven time and time again that we can trust you. Thank you, Admiral. May the winds be in your favor, Desarde. You'll need all the help you can get. Oh yeah, I will. I guess that... Yeah, the coin guard is also here. What the hell is that? Find Constantine's hideout. No, we're not there yet. We need to convince everyone else first. And Kurt is in my party anyway right now. Because he is a very good fighter and I need his giant scythe <laughs> to help me since my armor isn't that good anymore. But I just want, want this so I can actually be from the congregation. For the last time they're all screaming at me. Sieglinde, right? We're gonna talk to Sieglinde. Hi. Hello, Commander. Lady Desarde. How can I be of service to you? Suggest joining the Alliance against Constantine. I have come to ask for your help. I'm at your service, Your Excellency. What is it you want from me? We need reinforcements to protect the sanctuary of the natives, north of the island. Very well. I will send some troops there. But <laughs> may I ask who or what they will be fighting? Creatures in great numbers. And probably my cousin. I beg your pardon? As your men must have told you, he has changed a lot recently. Ever since he was cured of the Malachor and bonded to the island, he has become obsessed with power. He is now targeting the heart of the island. If he succeeds, we're all doomed. I have indeed heard reports of the Governor's peculiar behavior. Since he is our employer, I asked my men to turn a blind eye. But thanks to your help, we avoided dishonor. I won't forget it. If you're telling me that we are in danger and that we need to go to this sanctuary, we'll go. Thank you, Commander. Anything else? That was... I have to go. Goodbye. Very uncomplicated. I also have a lot to do. Until next time, Your Excellency. I appreciate that. Sieglin is a woman of action and not many questions. Bridge Alliance next. Governor Burren, time to actually do something. Your Excellency. Lady de Sade, and to what do I owe this honor? Ask him to join the Alliance against Constantine. I have come to solicit your help, and to propose we forge an alliance. An alliance? Against whom? You remember, no doubt, the attacks that fell upon Hikmet but also San Mateus and against the natives. Of course. You told me that different guardians sent the beasts. Precisely. And the guardians were manipulated by someone. I discovered who it was. This revelation will not please you, but I have no choice but to tell you. It is Constantine. Uh, surely you jest. What is the meaning of this? Do you know how many men have died during these attacks? Allow me to continue, I beg you. My cousin's sickness shook him to the core. Then there was a ritual and his capture, and Constantine has fallen to madness. 
He has been increasing these rituals in order to link himself to the island to gain power and manipulate its creatures. He is fighting a war against everyone. And it now appears that he wants to take control of Tiafredi. He is preparing to attack the Volcano Sanctuary, and I need help to stop him. It is in the name of the Congregation that I come to see you. Constantine betrayed us as well. That's madness. It is complete madness. All of this superstitious nonsense. These absurd theories. I believed you sincere, Desarde. Which does not mean that I believe you now. But no matter. You are in need of men to stop your cousin who has already attacked us. Precisely. I have already gathered support, but I need as many allies as possible. Let us be clear. I don't believe for an instant that this story has a link to the island or whatever foolishness, but I do trust you. You have rendered us valuable services and have supported us. And since we cannot allow the crimes of your cousin to go unpunished, we will stand beside you. Thank you, Your Excellency. Thank you. You have improved our chances of success tenfold. I have to go. Look forward to seeing you again. Farewell, my lady. So he doesn't believe me, but he is still willing to give me men. It's fine by me. And now only the islanders remain. And we will go there too. And then probably go and look for Constantine's hideout. Dunkus, I need your help. King. What brings you here on our Manawi? Yeah. I came to ask for your help in stopping my cousin, Dunkus. Did you hear about the attacks of creatures led by strange guardians throughout the island? Yes, Darren sent a messenger to tell me about it. My cousin was sick. And to cure him, Katasak used the bonding ritual on him. But the power he received from it made him mad and he started bonding himself in other places. He transformed his guardians each time and used them to attack those he considers to be his rivals. What you're telling me is terrifying. Katasak and Devoshtire should never have bonded him. Your cousin is breaking the balance. He's consuming and will only want to consume more. Indeed. Anon Milfrichtemann warned me that Constantine was now targeting the sanctuary at the heart of the island. I cannot fight him alone. I need allies. I already convinced some other factions to support us, but I also need the help of your people, because we must all stand together to stop the threat that is weighing on the island. Your will to create an alliance between all the peoples on this island is wise and noble. And the call of Enomil Frichtemann cannot remain unanswered. We will be by your side in the battle. I am not a fighter, but Dedra will lead our warriors. And I would also like for you to take this weapon. I pray it will be useful in the fight that is coming. Thank you, Dunkus. Don't thank me. You managed to earn my people's trust. And you fight for a cause that affects us all. May the Earth support each of your steps. And may the volcano give you its strength. I must admit that I expected Dunkus to be more angered when he learned what Constantine had done. He's a sage among sages. Even amongst the Donegada. Enon Mil Frichtemann speaks in his ear. I think he already knew what was happening, even before we came to see him. That confirms it. I made the right choice. Tifredi couldn't have a better High King. I did make the right choice. I told you, I want to have a look at that weapon. That he just gave me. Dunkis's Peacemaker Maze. 
Well, you aren't as good as my... And you don't take... Do a lot of... The Sorry, Dunkus. But no. It's a nice weapon, though. I appreciate the gesture. I really do. Now I'm not really sure, should I go and find Constantine's hideout first? Uh, I will do this and hope I can do the other one later. I have some bad news, Glendon. Hello, Glendon. Virt Tirtumad on Olmenawi. What can I do for you? Inform him about the arrival of allies. To tell you that men are going to come all the way to the sanctuary. Some Renaigse. I thank you for coming to warn me in person. But our High King has already spoken to me. I am disgusted to welcome warriors of the faraway island. But the decision is not mine. And in truth, we do not have the choice, do we? Nope. No. It is all of Tirfridi and Enon Milfrichtman that's in danger. We have need of every able warrior to protect them. You need to prepare yourself as well. I fear that you will not be spared. We will fight, have no doubts. Because such is our duty and our will. These are our lands that are attacked. I have no doubt. Good luck, Glendon. May the rocks give you their toughness. You shall need it more than everyone else. Can I do anything else for you? I must leave. Goodbye. Kwa awelem seg. So I... Whoa! Why does it scare me every time? So I brought everyone together and I guess now it's time to face Constantine, but not before. I haven't leveled up. Should I waste it on traps? Probably. <laughs> Attributes. Another one in endurance. What talent do we want now that I... Some vigor, maybe? Or some science. Let's do science. I don't don't think it will make much of a difference now, but it's nice to have. <laughs> okay, Constantine, I guess I'm coming. Is that up there? Very much so. Oh, they are beasties. You just jump on that poor bird. There's a platform here. I don't think I've ever been here. And a chest. With nothing important in it. <laughs> you know, Constantine, there's a way to save you, right? You aren't just all bad and crazy. You still like me. You didn't want the Nadaik to kill me, so... Oh, there are people there. The cave that Constantine indicated in his notes shouldn't be very far. He has guards that are very loyal to him. There's a chance they'll be protecting his hideout. Yeah, I guess that's them up there. And I don't think I can sneak up on them. Yep, no. I'm really sorry for killing you. You have no... This isn't your fight or anything. So I am sorry. It's 
So maybe I can avoid more bloodshed. If I can help it. I guess he won't be here. Otherwise we wouldn't have needed to make that alliance. It will probably be a big fight at the end. Beasties! Awesome! Oh, 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 Okay, this doesn't make a difference. I don't care. here now but as I said I don't think it'll make much of a difference that's already oh god what did he do what is that Constantine that's creepy and that's blood oh. <laughs> why Constantine has marked several places on this map I recognize some of them they're sacred places for the natives places of connection God damn you, Constantine. Constantine's research notes. According to my calculations, by performing linking rituals in Quetwen and Vetvilvi, and all Milfrichtemen should be sufficiently weakened and I sufficiently powerful to fight him. I cannot wait to annihilate this senile old god. You're an asshole. This place. This journal. Oh, my poor Constantine. You have completely lost your mind. What are you hoping to achieve with these rituals? No Donegad has ever done such a thing. It goes against the balance that we are defending. Enon Mirfrichtemann was right. Your cousin wants power. He is feeding from the strength of Tyr Fredi. So much so that he is threatening Enon Mirfrichtemann himself. He wants to take his place. <sighs> to think he's been plotting this absurd plan for weeks. He even used us to achieve it. The intruder in the sanctuary was certainly sent by him to scout the place. We will need to gather allies if we're going to stop him. But we will also have to weaken him and break apart the bonds that he has established. I don't know exactly how these things work. And unless you do, we're gonna need help. How about Dunkus? Mev scares me a little. <laughs> You're right. Let's go and find him. Alright, so go back to Dunkus. We can do that. What brings you here on Almanawi? I'm back. <laughs> As I've told you before, my cousin bonded himself in many places before he decided to target the heart of the island. You did tell me, and you must know that by doing so, he has acquired a power that no Donegada has ever possessed. That is why I need your help. We need to break some of his bonds in order to weaken him. Rest assured, all the Donegada will answer to the call of their Hoi King. And with their help, we will heal the wound your cousin has opened. However, to accomplish this, it is I who will need your help. Of course. What can I do? <laughs> During the ritual, the one who is bonding himself spills some of his blood near the base of a stone. And this blood summons a guardian. The guardian lifts the stone so that it may serve as an anchor point for the bond. The only way to break this bond is to have a guardian topple the stone. We will be able to do it, but these rituals take a long time. Too long to be done quickly. 
So in the meantime, you must prevent your cousin from drawing magic from the place. Here, take these seeds and plant them at the bottom of your cousin's bonding stones. These plants grow very fast, and their roots will prevent him from drawing the strength of Tiefradi. However, you must be careful, because the guardians corrupted by him will come to defend the stones. Thank you, Dunkus. And thank you for wanting to stop your cousin. Don't worry. I will send my people to finish the work of the plants I have given you. So this is probably going to be very fight heavy. Oof. This is going to be difficult. I am not wearing the right armor, but I don't care. I'm sleeping in the bed I made. Hi, Guardian. Of course you are. Set a poison trap. No, I don't want to set a poison trap. No, oh, Kurt. Kurt, you Kurt. Close to Move away. Things are about to get dicey. Let's plant the seed Dunkus gave us at the base of the raised stone. Which one will that be? The one where the black Look. stuff comes out of. The plant seems to be growing extremely fast. The Donegada of Dunkus's clan are sure to be here soon to finish breaking the bond. Yes, and we will continue on and do exactly that again. Because this has worked and I like it. You're gonna get your ass kicked, Constantin. I wish you wouldn't have gone mad. For that little power. Stupid, stupid Constantin. Where is it? Oh, that's where the old man was. Whoops. Oh, creatures and the guardian. Awesome, ow. Move away. Things are about to get dicey. Move away. Things are about to get dicey. Be 
can access the stone and plant Dunkus's seed. Very good. Very good. Can I get my five gold coins? Now I got obsidian. <laughs> Look. The plant seems to be growing extremely fast. The Donegarda of Dunkus's clan are sure to be here soon to finish breaking the bond. Now I did that. Be careful beyond this point. You will not be able to continue other ongoing quests. So we have reached the ending point of Greefall. And we will do that in this episode. We will now continue on to the end, no matter how long it takes. I hope I can keep that promise. Where are we going? Gather my companions? Fine. And do what now? How are you feeling, my child? What you are about to do is difficult. Don't make it harder than it has to be, Petrus. Fighting against your cousin isn't pleasant, but it's the only logical thing to do. A nicer way of saying she has no choice. Indeed. I must stop Constantine, regardless of what it may cost me. Not only to obtain an antidote to the Malachor, but also to save this island. I have learned many things by your side, and thanks to you, I was able to give my mother back to the earth. I won't forget this. And this is my land, my people. I will be by your side. You will not go through this ordeal alone. What's happened to Constantine is regrettable, but you're doing what must be done. You're a good person, Greenblood, and you can count on your old master of arms to protect you. We will all be with you. After all, this concerns all of us, doesn't it? Naturally. We will be by your side to support you both physically and spiritually. Thank you. You have been precious allies. And you are proving once more the value of your friendship. Now, let's go. It'll be a shame if we arrive too late. Oh, that was cute. That was all of my companions showing their their loyalty and their love and their respect for me. I like that. <sighs> All right, Constantine, I'm here. The entrance to the sanctuary has been forced. A fight took place here. Constantine managed to get through. Let's hurry. Yeah, 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 right. I didn't do the Sarafaddon quest. I don't care. <laughs> Righty, let's do it then. Right hand pass like the last time. I should, I'll just do it. I don't know if I have to anymore. There will probably be Constantine's beasties anyway. Are you all still there? No. Oh, I can't take the right hand path. Constantine, where are you? Don't hide. Doesn't become you. Oh no. Oh no. Why are why are you all dead? I mean, thanks for the loot and all, but don't really need it. Oh! Hello! Disade! Glad to see you. Sadly, we couldn't stop your cousin. He suddenly stormed our position, along with a horde of enraged creatures. We didn't stand a chance. And now there are beasts attacking us relentlessly. My men are doing all they can to stop them. We thought it best to stay here to keep the path open for you, should you want to face your cousin. Thank you. You did well. I'll do everything in my power to catch him and stop him from carrying out his plan. Keep holding on as long as you can. I need to be able to reach him. Wait, there's a group of creatures coming. 
Then let's face them all together now. Put a poison on my blade. Then let's go. What is happening? Move away! Things are about to get dicey! I hope you're ready. I'll stay here with them, Greenblood. He's right. We must help them stop these creatures. Are you sure? Every minute gained is a minute that allows you to save us. Glad to have you with us, Kurt. Just like the good old days. And thank you too, Afra. It is an honor. Enough with the talking, Greenblood. Go. And stop, Constantine. I'd hate to be doing this for nothing. In that case, thank you. And good luck to both of you. Oh no, so that means that I will... That they will leave me one after the other and I will face Constantine alone. No. More beasties. Come on then. my armor back thank you at least a little bit okay I have three of you left and let's face him we can do this guys or well, I can do this I guess oh god is there a way to save Constantine please let there be I don't want to kill him I don't like that idea. Uh, islanders and notes, I guess. There you are. I was starting to think that we would die here for nothing. Your cousin just passed through here with a horde of beasts, and he keeps sending us more. We won't hold very long. We're not used to fine creatures like these. We are, and we will hold long enough for you to reach the heart even if we must die in the process. But you must chase him. You must prevent him from performing the ritual at all costs. If Enon Milfrichtemann dies, we're all doomed. I'm well aware of that, believe me. But here come some more beasts. To arms! Are the Telemi ones alone somewhere? That's so unlike them. Maybe I'm likely to protect me in this battle. You are going to pay for your arrogance, You are going to sit pay for your arrogance. Why do you keep saying that to me? I don't like that. You are going to Wait. I'll stay with my people. And I'll stay with her. One blade more can't hurt. We need to prevent the beasts from following your tracks. Yeah, we could use some help here, to be honest. I wouldn't have put it that way, but the Moridigan <laughs> isn't wrong. You see? Over and done. You should go now. And may the volcano give you its strength. Well, good luck. And I am here with Petrus. What way? That way, right? Yes. Healing. Give that to you all. I am that uh, generous. All right, Petrus, I guess I will lose you too at some point. I am carrying too much. Are you kidding me right now?
Let's continue. Beasties? Beasties. That would have sucked to face them alone, though. Petrus for saving my ass in this week. Stupid weak armor. Thanks. Thanks. I'm sorry. <laughs> I should not have done that. Alrighty, come on, Constantine. That's Teleme, I guess. Oh, you are completely alone. There you are. Praise the Enlightened. Your cousin has already reached the heart. Our other allies informed me. They are also trying to stop the creatures. What do you intend to do? Pursue him all the way there and do everything I can to stop him. In that case, May the Enlightened keep you in his divine... Oh no. More beasts are coming! Be prepared! Why are you all alone? May the Enlightened protect you in this battle! May the Shadow engulf our enemies! Your armor is falling apart! Yeah, 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 I know, I know. I am almost dead. May the shadow engulf our enemies! Your magic is running out! Take a potion! This time it's my turn. I'm staying with my people. I knew you'd say that. Well, I wasn't going to let the young ones get all the glory. Your help would be a blessing, father. You see? You should go now, my child. Be careful. We are all praying for your success. Thank you, Petrus. Be careful, too. The whole two, two of you will be praying for my success. I feel emboldened. <laughs> oh, no. There will be beasties and I'm all alone in the wrong armor. I don't like it, but I will do it. Because I am strong. And Constantine is my cousin. Stop doing whatever you are doing. Ha! Constantine! That's for me alone to do. Isn't that fun? Oh, wow. Okay, I need to get rid of your armor. Ow, ow, ow. Hurt. Maybe I do have to take a potion. Can I stasis you for a second?
I'm so quiet. <laughs> I really need to concentrate on this. Come on. Sorry. Why? Why have you done this? But for you. For us. So that we may live free at last. <laughs> this makes no sense. Constantine, it's madness. You don't understand because you're still attached to the old world. This old, dying world which, to survive, has betrayed you used and manipulated us and would not have hesitated to kill us. Perhaps, but... I've seen death, cousin, and I understood the vanity of it all. My father's ruses just so he could earn more power, the political bowing and scraping to preserve corrupted nations. I have been offered unrivaled power, allowing me to get rid of this, to send the old world back to its inevitable death and to build something new here. Something unique. And this new world is my gift to you. You and I could be its new gods, the immortal and benevolent monarchs. He himself is the incarnation of the old world he is speaking of. He has its vices and its poison. For his own immortality, he's prepared to destroy everything around him, to break millennia of foicles. I implore you, flesh of my land, think of all the lives that will come to an end to feed his pride. Don't listen to this old god. He's like all the others, after all, clinging to life. All you have to do is to bind yourself here, with me, and we will be gods together, forever. Oh, I hate you, game. I hate you so much. Why? Well, I'm not gonna link myself to him. Oh, really? There was no other choice to, like, maybe stab him just a little bit? Fine. Come. <laughs> oh. Oh, shame. Sweet prince. I didn't like that. After the fall of Constantine, my young student managed to establish stronger links between the old nations and the natives. Some of their Donegada were even invited to the continent, and with their help, it slowly became a land filled with life again. And for the first time in a long while, the number of cases of the Malachor is decreasing. Those who bravely fought at Dorhad Genadu were celebrated everywhere. 
After all, if it weren't for this unlikely alliance, the island would have fallen into Constantine's greedy hands. Zieglinder took Kurt as an advisor, but he insisted on keeping his place alongside his former student and friend, watching her back as he always had. Siora obtained the title of Marl of the Red Spears alongside her twin. She leads them with wisdom, but often reunites with the one she still calls her Karantz. Afra set aside her weapons and went back to her research on the native culture and flora of the island. It is said that she is even writing a book with the help of Dunkas' clan when not visiting her friends. For his bravery, Vasco was awarded the rank of commander. He now travels the sea at the head of a whole fleet, but he often comes back to visit his sister-in-arms. Petrus's ambitions have finally been fulfilled. He obtained the much-coveted title of Cardinal. Despite the responsibilities implied by such a title, he still sometimes visits the one he calls his child. Despite the help Ulan received, which allowed him to restore the importance of the seaside Nemeus, he still had to renounce the role of Marl as he faced the contempt of the other clans. Her friendship with Renaixe helped Deirdre to overcome her reticence. She willfully accepted to follow the orders of her new High King. Dunkas and his people spent a lot of time with savants and theologians. Patiently, they shared their knowledge of the Earth and learnt new techniques from one another. And in so doing, they restored balance between the New World and the Old. Following the investigations revealing the horrifying practices of Dr. Asili, the Alliance changed their methods and even appointed an ethics council to oversee the work of its scholars. The public revelations of St. Matthias's life led to a deep change in Teleme. The Ordo Luminis was dismantled for good, and the missionary's purpose is now to establish dialogue rather than conversion. Aware that their culture of secrets would lead them to their demise, the Norts changed their methods. They welcomed numerous new recruits amongst them, notably natives. Under Zieglinder's control, the guard returned to the honorable values that had made its reputation. And they did so all the more easily, now that their shadiest members were out of the picture. All right. That was Greedfall, another game down, two in a row. That uh, I did not expect them to end so quickly one after the other. Yeah, uh, that felt like the best ending I could have gotten, kind of. Maybe there would have been something different if I had found all of the notes, all of the research notes of Dr. Sarah Fadden. But other than not having a romance in there, because I apparently messed that one up, I think that was the best ending I could have gotten. I'm a little sad that I couldn't save that I couldn't save Constantine. I really am. I wish that would have been a possibility because I really liked that character and knowing that he has just gone mad and the only choice was to either kill him or join him. That was a little unsatisfying to me. All in all, this game had its problems. I think I've said that time and time again, the secondary quests were lacking a lot. I But I really did enjoy the main quest line. Um, other than that choice at the end, I think that was very well done, especially for a smaller team and a smaller studio. That I liked very, very much. There were a lot of ideas in there that I really thought were cool. Some of them were implemented well, some of them not as much, unfortunately. 
But I think they did the best with what they had. But there definitely were problems that I was not a big fan of. Um, that just small things, for example, that pretty much all the NPCs just kept referring me as him. I mean, that's really just one one little thing that's a line you have to say twice and they didn't do that a lot they did do that with the main characters and lady de sade i was called a lot but then there still was him and well that's just that's just that's just something that takes me out that breaks immersion so much for me that i'm like every time i'm reminded i'm playing a game and that that game has bugs <laughs> Or that, that that it wasn't implemented well. Then there was that whole ordeal with the key that only opened in the Doctor Seely quest, where I thought that that there was a the bug, a, a quest breaking bug there. I don't know why it was implemented that way. I guess that was just something that just fell through the qu cracks in the end that they just didn't get around to. Uh, not fixing or maybe they thought they were they did a good thing I that quest just was weird and I talked through all the credits I did not expect that but we are at the end as I said I enjoyed the quest like the main quest a lot I think the secondary quest also unfortunately the loyalty quests could have taken a bit more time and a I was missing the cool and very good quality of the cutscenes in the main quest line, and I guess it came down to money and where they wanted to spend the money that they had, and then they wanted to do just a little too much, in my opinion, and it didn't really work in all the cases, and at the end i was kind of unfortunately indifferent about my companions which is not a good thing i think in the beginning the introductory scenes of them were all pretty good but i think with especially what petrus revealed to me that should have had more impact but it didn't and i don't really know why if it was just in the delivery or that it was just never talked about it again afterwards I don't know. Um, the romance I can't say anything to because that was my fault. I didn't do it right and I'm sorry for myself because maybe that would have brought something else to the table but in the end I like the Constantine stuff. I really think that um, the voice actor of Lady de Sade, I can't judge the, um, I can't judge the Sir so I don't know, but Lady Desade and Constantine, those were the two voice actors that I liked the most. And they carried a lot of this for me. So I like the Constantine stuff, not so much the secondary and loyalty stuff. But I got the good ending, at least I, I managed that. I did all the secondary quests, so everyone would like me. <laughs> And they stayed with me to, till the end. I think that was a cool thing that they implemented. That you really could bring everyone together. And that the end slideshow also played into that. And everything is cool. And you did a good thing. And I like that. I like having. I like being the good guy in games. And I like having that sort of resolution at the end. Where you did everything right. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's not for everyone and I can um, I can appreciate a little more nuance but for what this game was I like that very much so yes um, we finished it now it's time to go to some new games do something else and if you like what I do, if you want to see more, please let me know any recommendations you have. Let me know what you thought about the game. Let me know what you thought about my commentary, of course. This is the first game that... This is the game that I started with and now it's done. And 
I think I've learned a lot, but I would like to hear your perspective on this. So please comment, subscribe, like, follow us on Twitter and on Tumblr. The links are in the description below. I love you all so much. Bye bye.